Good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Adams Brothers Podcast. We are here this evening with my main man, Mr. Wilbert Simpson. How you doing, Wilbert? I'm pretty good, man. Pretty good. That's good, man. Long time no see, man. Uh, it's good. You're looking good, man. You're looking like a million dollars, just like that photo. I mean, that picture <laughs> you painted right behind you there. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, you drew. I can say, I can say that, but you drew that. You drew that, or you painted that? I painted it. You painted it, yeah. Well, yeah. Wilbur, he's a he's a uh, local artist, and he's an outstanding artist, I might add. And uh, he he is mean on that canvas, and uh, we wanted to bring him on the show. So, uh, t- Wilbur, tell us a little bit about you, man. I appreciate you guys having me, man. Um, I'm pretty cut and dry, man. I'm an artist based out of South Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, to be exact. Um, Born and raised here. Uh, I started out with the music. I play uh, I play percussion and a little bit of piano. Uh, started out in church playing the music. I uh, went to Dillard uh, doing music. And right up until the time I um, wanted to go to college, I decided to do art. <laughs> I always did art, but um, it was just like something I did on the side. This was this was a form of release. So. Um, and I just fell in love with it, man, and I've been doing it ever since. Yeah, I watch all of your videos that you post on Instagram and uh, uh, on social media, and uh, you don't post so much on Facebook, but you're mostly on, on IG, right? On the gram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, every now and then you catch me on Facebook post something, but yeah, definitely on IG. Right, right, right. So, what made you get into art? What What was uh, you? Did you like art as a little kid when you were growing up? What made you start uh, doing uh, paintings and 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 getting into art? Well, I, well when I was eleven, uh, around about the time my grandma died, I was I was followed by my brother. He could draw, so uh, my older brother. So he um, he used to draw these these whole landscape of images and stuff. And I was like, man, draw me one. And he gave me a pencil and paper. He was like, draw yourself. <laughs> so I've been drawing stick figures for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, eventually, eventually, I started forming a body, you know, and, and creating my own. And I was heavy in the comic books. And I loved Ninja Turtles at the time. So I just started mimicking what I see. And um, it just grew into what I, what I could do now. Um, I've just been painting uh, uh, about seven years now. Uh, paint was a was a whole another beast, you know. I could draw, but paint was a whole another beast. And I just it taught me patience and uh, a, a dealer for humbleness because I'm so used to seeing results as soon as I put my pencil to a paper, you know. But then painting is like it's all about layers, so uh, it was it was pretty humbling. But uh, I picked it up and I'm grateful for it. Right now. I've seen some of your artwork and I didn't know until you told me because I took a picture of it. If you ever, if you, any of our um, uh, viewers out there that's watching right now, watching this podcast, if you've ever been down to the NYSW Jazz Lounge in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, (laughs) there is a picture of Ray Charles in there. And uh, when I first went into that Jazz Lounge, I saw the picture up there and it automatically caught my attention and I took a picture wow. one night I was there and I took a picture about it and I posted it on social media. And then you came on there, you <laughs> said, hey man, I, I painted that picture there, man. And I was like, yeah, you know, yeah. then I started thinking, I was like, you know what, this looks just like Will's, uh, Wilbur's uh, work, man. Uh, you uh, you have some mad, mad talent, man. You are mad talented, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm grateful for them to even purchase my artwork. Uh, I was I did the art piece and uh uh Shanira, I think she was working with the lounge at the time or whatever and she saw my uh, piece and she was like this would be great in the lounge. I'm like, Okay, cool. So she asked me the price, I told her and she was like, I'm gonna get it. So she got it and I I appreciate that. You know, it it looked dope in there too. I saw a couple of pictures of it in there. Uh it definitely fits. Oh yeah, I still have that picture and I, I still look at it right now today <laughs> and um Man, again, you got you have mad talent, uh, mad talent, Wayne. Yes, uh, Will. Uh, what does your work aim to say? Ah, uh, 
my work aims to say what a lot of people want to say, but just don't know how to convey it. Because uh, I mean, growing up in the neighborhood, growing up in the hood, you know, um, I, I, I felt like I didn't have a voice, you know. I, I was uh, confined to my area, <laughs> you know. So um, there's so much that, that kids, so much as us as people want to say and express, and this is my way to express it. You know, I like to, I like to voice back um, black opinions. I like to bring about um, uh, conversational pieces. So that's just that's just my thing. So I'm, I'm probably not fit for all the high end galleries, but I'm definitely if I do get it to them, I'm definitely gonna bring some blackness to it. Yes, and and, and that's another question that I wanted to ask you. How does your work comment on current social? or political issues, or do it? Uh, do it represent any current or social political issues? Oh, definitely, definitely. I feel like it's, it's, it's centered all around it, you know, because um, art, art imitates life, life imitates art. You know, when you think about it, think about your life story. Your life story is a work of art. You know, our bodies, our minds is a work of art. So in order for me to, what my thing is to portray it on the canvas, you know, so um, the things I hear uh, Black folks talking about, the things I hear uh, us complaining and feel like that's, we have a solution, I, I try to put it on the canvas. So now we're creating a universal conversation and we, that we all can talk about because we, you can visualize what we've been talking about. Yeah. And like growing up, who was your biggest influence? Uh, I'll say this. Did you ever look at good times and while you was growing up looking at good times and just say man i want to draw those drawings like jj was drawing not that i thought it was cool i didn't i didn't watch that much tv growing up um my household was pretty strict <laughs> yeah. but um i didn't have a uh inspiration growing up doing doing art because i was into the uh music and i was doing um i was running track and stuff like that so i was a i, I called myself outside baby you know, I, I, if I could be outside, I'm outside. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how have you developed your career so far? Uh, with the help of, um, I got an agent, um, Al Huggy with Art and Soul. And he's helped me along the way. It's taught me a lot with the business. You know, honestly, I just wanted to draw and paint, you know, so I just want to create. But it, it is a business, and it, um, it is some politics to it too. So dealing with him and uh, his company, and even just the stuff I've learned on my own, uh, it's been pretty cool though. Okay, all right, Daryl. Will, do you offer any art classes in the area here in the Dade, uh, Dade County, Broward County, Palm Beach County area? If uh, like in the evenings or the morning, do you uh, teach any art classes? Um, at, at one point, we was doing some classes with different cities, going around uh, different cities and different neighborhoods and doing art classes for the community. Uh, we, we strayed away from it with uh, everything that's going on, but I plan to revisit it. Um, and I, I really want to create something where I can give back to the community so they can come for, you know, come and do it for free. So that's, that's what I'm working on right now. And hopefully by the end or mid 2021, I can make that happen. No, oh, absolutely, man. You have mad talent, man, and um, uh, you could definitely, you know, uh, teach some young, teach some of these younger uh, people, these yep. younger kids, man, how to how to how to draw and do art like that. I don't think I could ever do anything like that, man. I'm like you, man. I'd be drawing how you started out. I'd be drawing those little stick men <laughs> and all of that stuff, and I still draw little stick men because I'm not. I can't draw at all, you know. But that'll be a good, but, good thing to give back to the community if you would, if you were, you know, if you had time in your, your schedule to uh, do some teaching. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to make it happen. But um, just what you're talking about, you're talking about, uh, there's some kids in the, in our, you know, in the city. I think I was in Liberty City uh, teaching the class, and uh, they were saying, "Oh man, I can't draw." It. First, first off, they're surprised to see that I was the artist behind the artwork that they seen. Uh, I'm pretty sure they haven't seen that many black artists especially in person, you know, uh, but they were saying, man, I can't draw, I can't do this again, frustrated, because drawing is not just a, a skill, it's actually a, a therapeutic, you know, and um, you can learn a lot from a kid, just give them a piece of paper and a, um, a coloring book or whatever, 
you can learn a lot from the kids from how they color, how they draw, and the colors that they use. Right. Uh, darker colors uh, seems to bring out some, you know, they have, they probably deal with some negativity or whatever, and how hard they press on the pumps or whatever. There's a lot that goes into it. But uh, going to get to the story. <laughs> so they say, I just can scribble. I can't, I can't really draw the scribble or whatever else. So I, saw, I showed them an art piece that I did. It was nothing but squiggly lines. And they was like, whoa. I was like, yeah, it don't matter if you can do a straight line, a crooked line, you can create whatever it is in your mind, you can create it. Right. Now, when you were in high school, did you take art in high school? No, I took a 2D class just for just to fill out my schedule, uh, my senior year. But now I took all music classes because I was all about music. I was in um, jazz band, uh, concert band, uh, marching band. So I was really just about music and sports. Well, the reason I ask you that because I took art in high school and I think the I drew a, a picture of a brush, the little brushes that we used to use to brush our hair and the, yeah. put waves in your hair. Of course, you can see that yeah. was a long time ago for me. So, uh, <laughs> but I drew a picture yeah. of a brush, and uh, my art teacher was Mr. Roy Clark, and he mm -hmm. uh, he's actually a family member of ours, and he taught at Deerfield Beach High School, and he's still here in here in this area right now. I think he's retired now, but he is still yeah. doing art just like you, man. He is he is mad talented, just like you, man. I would love to see you. And Roy Clark, uh, Mr. Roy Clark, hook up, man, and 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 and, and showcase your him. work. I would love to meet him. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I'm gonna see if I can link you all up, man, and uh, um, I will. We'll talk, you know, off of the podcast. But yeah, I definitely want to link you up with with uh, Mr. Roy Clark, uh, Mr. Roy Clark. Wayne, mm -hmm. you have anything else for uh, Will? Yes, I got, a, I got, I got my. Two or three more questions. This should go quicker. How do you okay. seek out opportunities to, uh, uh, to market your business? Um, to be honest, and it's it's all by the grace of God. They they mainly come to me. To be honest, uh, like I I do um, I I don't go out a lot. I, you see, you catch me in the uh, in my house drawing a painting. So uh, every now and then, someone that knows me, that knows something of me, not that many people know that many artists. So when stuff comes up, they be like, oh, I know someone, and they, they automatically tag me, or they reach out to me about uh, opportunities. Uh, like uh, I did a couple of murals in the Extreme uh, Go-Kart Place on uh, Powerline Power Road. Road. Yeah, so that was from another artist. He was like, uh, the dude wanted some artists to come to murals. He called me. Actually, I don't think I ever did a mural before. And they, I went in there, I showed him my work, and uh, I was actually the only black person. So he, the, uh, the owner at the time was like, uh, yeah, do do this on the wall. I'm like, okay, now it's like a over 20 foot wall, and I'm scared of heights. <laughs> but hey, the way I see it, man, I can't tell my son I turned an opportunity because I was scared of heights, you know? So I just hopped. Um, hopped on and it just got it done. So I don't, I'll, you know, if, if something comes up and if it's challenging or even if it's, I feel like it fits me, I just hop on it, man. And uh, have you ever had a, you know, one of your favorite artists? Who is one of your favorite artists? If you ever had one before, I know I always ask. People, when I see them drawing, like when I see them out in the street festivals drawing, I always ask them, was there someone that inspired them? Uh, maybe an artist from the past or someone from today. Or just no one. Yeah, well, no disrespect, but I, I don't have a favorite artist. I I deal with certain artists, and I, I love their work. You know, the, the current artists. No disrespect for any artists that was before me or come after me, but the ones I deal with, a uh, few that I, I've been around, like they inspired me because they're here, you know, and, I, and I'm grateful for it. They're, them challenging me as I challenge them. But um, like I said, I wasn't even into art like that until seven, seven, eight years ago, you know, so uh, I don't have a, a, a someone that I was, you know, loved at the time. Right, right. And, and this is my last question because I know a lot of our viewers would probably want to know. Uh, how do you price your work? <laughs> That's a good one. Um, 
It depends. It depends on a lot, man. Um, how how much time it took me to do it, um, the quality of paint, the image itself, and the difficulty. Uh, and I sometimes I find myself bringing the price down a lot because of the area that I showcase it in. Like uh, I'm not going to take a, a, a twenty thousand dollar painting to the African American Library, you know. So. I, I definitely bring the price down because of the atmosphere that I'm in. Cause I want I want it to be affordable, but I also I mean, I'm trying to put some, you know, I'm trying not to disrespect my craft at the same time, you know, because um, it's, it's a lot of time and effort put into it, and it's, it's valuable. Okay, okay. And that was my final question. I I I just wanted to see because I always was wondering, like, with everything else, you know, you kind of got. You know, you kind of have a, a a a measuring stick to how you price, but I always wondered how artists price. And you just told me about the paint, so I, I, now I know. Now, I yeah, they, they do it by the time. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Well, it it was nice talking to you. Uh, Will, that was my final question, Daryl. Well, we definitely. <laughs> I appreciate want, you guys helping. Me. We definitely want to see your your artwork in all the uh, African American museums across the country. And uh, if anybody can get their work in those museums, I know it's you, I've seen your work and man, you are mad talented. Uh, we wish you uh, the very best, man. We want to uh, thank you for uh, stopping by the Adam Brothers podcast. And before we go, oh, tell everybody how they, how they can get in contact, you, contact with right. you if they want to uh, order some of your paintings or how can they follow you on social media? How can they get, how can they get in contact with you? Website or anything. Uh, my, yeah, my, my Instagram page is um, Timeless Art with a Z on the end. That's T-I-M-E-L-E-S-S-A-R-T-Z. And uh, Facebook page is Will Simpson. And you can also go on my art, my, what is it? Uh, Myartandsoul.com. <laughs> that website. Okay. And check out some of my artwork. Okay. Now, well, there you have it, Mr. Will. Will, I call him Will, but his real name is Wilbur <laughs> Simpson. Uh, yeah. He is an outstanding artist, man. You, you're doing big things here in the community here in South Florida, man. We wish you well. And anytime you want to come back by the Adam Brothers podcast, man, to showcase your work, we'll always give you that platform to do so. Yes. I appreciate it, man. I love what you guys are doing, man. It's, it's really dope. Thank you, man. We I wish you much it. success. Much success and uh, good luck thank to you. Man. We'll be seeing you soon, man. And uh, thank you for coming by this evening and have a great evening, man. Yes, sir. All right. All right.